Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wall. I can't believe the Christmas video is next Saturday, December 21st. I can't believe it. This will be my fifth year I have been making the Christmas video. And my third year that I have been making the Christmas video and posting it on YouTube. So again, this will be my fifth year making the Christmas video. I just can't believe it. I'm going to try something different on my Christmas video. Um, I have noticed that I have only failed on making one video this year for 20. 19. That was Saturday, August 24th. And that has been a good year for me making my videos. I have missed a lot in the past. So, I'm going to do something a little bit different for the Christmas, Christmas video next Saturday. I am going to show a five minute thing of most of my videos from 2019. So, so that's something I, I want to do something a little bit different. Now, let's get into today's topic. Today's topic is, does astronauts know everything about the universe? Okay, as you can see, nobody, none of us, knows it everything. Look, I I know about violins. I don't know how to tune a violin. I don't know everything about a violin. If you give me a hard music sheet, a hard piece of music sheet, a very hard one, I don't know if I can even play that one. Why? Because I don't know everything about violins. I'm good at a violin. I have a violin. I perform um, places on my violin. In fact, I'm even going to play my violin next Saturday um, on my Christmas video. But I don't know everything about a violin. Let's talk about police officers. I know about police officers. I watch cops every night. I have paper police officers, cardboard police cars. I don't know everything about police officers. I have learned a lot about police officers this year. So does astronauts know everything about the universe? No, they don't. I'm not saying they don't know anything. They probably know a lot of stuff but they don't know everything. They, they, they probably know a lot more than I know about the universe, but they don't know everything about the universe. So, so that's today's topic I want to bring up today. Does astronauts know everything about the universe? And the answer is no. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to say they don't know anything. I'm just saying they don't know everything. They, they know something. I mean, I mean, look, I, like I said, I'm still learning, learning about things. I'm learning about the violin. I'm learning about police officers. I don't know everything about police officers. I don't know everything about a violin. Astronauts don't know everything about the universe. They only know what all they can know. Now, it is time to get saved. And I would like you to go to Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that means we all have sinned. We all have made mistakes. None of us is perfect. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
Because we all have sinned. We all deserve to die and go to hell. Um, but don't worry, I got another verse to you. That is Romans chapter 5, and verse 8. But God disperses his own love toward us, and that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. He died for me and you, so we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing, though. And I like you in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 through 10, and we'll jump over to verse 13. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Once you ask God to come to your heart, you will be saved. Let's get saved right now. Don't wait till next week. Don't wait till the Christmas video. Because there may not be a day next week. There, there may not be a day make it to the Christmas video. Alright, let's get saved. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that you died and rose from the dead for me. Please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you just prayed, you are now saved. I'd like to go to 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 to 13. And this is the testimony that God has given us to our life is in His Son. He who has the Son, the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life and, they, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. You can know that you are saved. It's not a hope so, it's a no so. I would like you to go to John chapter 10 and verse 28. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. No one cannot take you away from God. No one cannot. I would like to go to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commended you. And lo, I am with you always even to the end of the age. Amen. Baptism is the next step after getting saved. And baptism does not get you to heaven. Baptism does not. I would like to go to Acts chapter 2 verse 41 through 42. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized. And that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. And they continued still fasting the apostles doctrine and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. I would like to go to 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. As newborn babes desire the poor milk of the word that you may go thereby. I would like you to go to Philippines chapter 4 verse 6 through 7. Be access for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which suppresses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Read your Bible and pray every day. Prayer changes things. Last verse for the day. 
I like to go to John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. That's all I have. Um, don't forget that next week, on Saturday, December 21st, 2019, I can't believe it, making a Christmas video. The Christmas video will be uploaded on YouTube and shared on social media sites by 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the video will be 20 to 25 minutes long. The topic will be about do we need a tree to celebrate Christmas? And at the end of the video, I will be playing a Christmas song on my violin called Green Sleeves. And please note that there will be no video on Saturday, December 28th, 2019, due to Christmas last New Year's. Videos will start back up as planned on Saturday, January 4th, 2020. Goodbye, everyone.